All right, guys. So, World Champs is coming up in Fort William, Scotland. End of... No, start of next month. Start of next month in Scotland. And I want to touch on a thing that I don't think is really fair for the current world champion. Now, let me know what you guys think. But I think world champs should solely be raced at the end of the year. After the championship is settled, after all the other racing is done, one run to finish it should be the world championships. Now, last year in Leger, Loic Bruni obviously took the win. Amory Amory Pirion got second. And after his race, he was talking about how he kept thinking about the overall, like that was in the back of his mind because he was the favourite to win. He was ahead in the points. He didn't have it wrapped up but it was playing on his mind. And it's just one of those things that I can imagine if you're in that situation where you've got to pretty much do an all or nothing run. Like Loic was coming off a bit of an injury. He'd missed a round. The overall was way out in the distance. So he could put all his energy into that one run. Like that was his sole focus was to win that race. And I know you say everyone's sole focus is to win that race, but when you have a world title ahead of you, and honestly... The World Cup overall, to me, is way, 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 way more important than the World Championships. The World Championships is cool. You get to wear the stripes. You get to call yourself the World Champion. But I almost think that should be flipped. I think if you win the overall, that should be the World Champ. You should be the World Champion. And if you win the World Champs, you should... I don't even know. I know it's hard because it seems like we give more emphasis... To the world champion even though i feel like they do much less to to maintain an overall at seven different races all around the globe takes so much commitment discipline race craft skill and it still takes a bit of that on the one day but nowhere near as much like you just need to nail it for that three and a half minutes and you're good to win the overall you have to nail it over seven races that's that's obviously seven qualies, seven semis, and, semi, and seven finals. So you have three times as many chances to mess that up. So I really think that the overall should have a bit more weight put on it. It just doesn't seem to have it. Like almost give the. I think they're trying to do it now by giving them the number one plate all year. But I think it's just this weird. I don't know. It's this weird feeling you get from you've done more, but you kind of as it seems like it's received as less so a bit tricky but anyway going back to with the world champs so it is held the end of this no it was held in the middle of this year so i've had three races so far and loic bruni won the overall last year with one race to go so he got to he's worn the jersey for four races one last year and three this year plus the nationals champs and whatever else races he does but world cup wise he's he's worn it for four races now i don't think it's really that fair that if you become world champion that you don't have the opportunity to wear that for an entire year you can't call yourself the world champion for all of 2023 you can call it until august and then the rest of the time it's going to get passed on so you're not really the 2023 world champion you're like the beginning 2023 world champion then whoever wins at fort william then they'll be the rest of the 2023 world champions. So just in my, from my perspective, I think that the world champs should be the last run of the year every year. I don't think there should be something that kind of chops and changes and there's races afterwards, especially looking at Armory's run being off by a second or something and then saying he had it in the back of his mind. And knowing that Loic didn't, I feel like that's a massive advantage. And I think this year... There's just so many more races to go that I just don't think it's fair. I know Luke's probably not going to care too much because he's five, six-time world champion, so I think he's probably getting tired wearing the jersey anyway. He wants to mix it up, put, some, put, a, fresh, put a fresh kit on. But I think from the outside looking in that, yeah, it should be at the end just so you can call yourself the world champion for that year. That's just my two cents. But going into... Going into world champs, I think I, t I touched on this in the last video, but I think think Laurie for the win. Think Loic and Tebow. Say so Laurie for the win. Loic seems about to turn on at world champs. So Loic 
for second, Tebow for third, Jordan fourth, Jackson fifth. They're my predictions. And then Troy can be a wild card in there somewhere because I know he's good there as well. But it's going to be interested. I'm not going to be on the team. I didn't get selected. The shitty first start, the shitty start to this year's kind of put me out the back a little bit so this is the second world champs i won't be doing unfortunately i missed half yell in 2014 again just not the the best start to the year and going off i thought maybe going off the result last year as being the fourth fastest aussie at leger last year they might have reconsidered but yeah i haven't really been able to turn it on the start of this year so unfortunately I won't be rocking up to to fort william but i will be back for andorra i'm just at home at the moment for the next few weeks just getting some training in here trying to reset and come back swing but looking uh looking forward to getting back over i see they've made a heap of um changes at uh where is it andorra what's the vel nord they've made a heap of changes look like put a new fresh a lot of fresh stuff in a lot of loam so definitely excited to ride some of that last year the track was so fast which honestly i like but at the same time some of the speeds are just like flat out so it's going to be good going back, especially if they've done a lot of work to it. And I've heard they've changing a few things around with the pits and stuff to make it work a bit nicer. It was a bit hard last year with like transport, getting people and riders from the pits to the start of the start and finish. So yeah, looking forward to it. But let me go, let me know what you guys think about the, the world champs and where you think they should be and what kind of effect having in the middle plays on people racing. But yeah, cheers guys.